Hey everyone and welcome back to Salem. It's been a while, I know I haven't been able to make a video, but here we are, we are back, and today we are going to be doing a little bit more of the cotton farming. Um, two episodes ago, I believe, I did uh, cotton planting where I showed how to plant your cotton farms, or really any farms for that matter. Uh, but in this episode, I'm going to show you specifically how to harvest cotton farms and sell the cloth that you will be making, okay? So what you need, first and foremost, is you're going to need five days to start doing this, and I'll explain why. This object over here is called a timber pile, and what it is is basically a pile of uh, boards that I made. I think it requires 40 boards to make the timber pile and a few stones, five or ten I believe. Um, and the point of this is that it dries your fresh boards in five days and after five days it will give you dry boards. Now you have to be careful when placing this. Uh, to place it I'm going to show you, I'm going to press Control L again to show you the area tool. Let's get out of here. And if you look here this is a 2x2 two two tile area that I've centered it in, which is the, the size of the timber pile. And you need a 10 by, uh, sorry, 10 spaces um, total, so you're going to need 5 on each side, which will add up to about 12 because um, you have the 2 in the middle. So I, I, it's kind of hard to explain when I say it like that, I know. But I'm going to show you. First we're going to start off with a 5x5 five five away from this timber pile and then we're going to make a 12 by 12. Okay, so now you can see five diagonal uh, away from this uh, timber pile, each direction has to be cleared. Okay, so when you make this timber pile, uh, in the timber pile we're going to use the dry boards we make for the lumen for the cotton cleaner that we're going to make so we can make our own cotton cloth. So you're going to need five days to let these boards dry and they have to be five tiles away in every direction from any uh, permanent item such as the stump, uh, the tree over here, um, pretty much anything that you can either pick up and move or anything that's stationed on the ground. This doesn't include uh, objects that spawn such as these honeysuckles or anything like that, but definitely anything that is a permanent item that can pretty much block you will not be good for this timber pile and it can cause either all of the boards to be moldy or most of the boards or even just some of them depending on how unlucky you are or lucky you are. So to get the most dry boards out of one timber pile you want to keep them five tiles away from everything. Now I've been drying these for about two weeks, I haven't been on for a while, uh, but these are obviously done, I can collect them now so I will collect a few in a minute, but first I'm going to show you what we will need. So, we're going to start off with the easier one, which is the, I'm sorry, hold on, I believe it's in the uh, Tools and Utilities, it's the Cotton Cleaner, oh, yeah, that was Cotton Cleaner, oh, there we go. So we need the Cotton Cleaner, so I'm going to, pr I'm going to place this right next to my, uh, my, my whittling bench, I'm going to place it over here. Okay, so as you can see, I need seven dry boards, four wooden plugs, and one wooden handle all relatively easy except for now the dry boards if you haven't made them yet so like I said you might have to wait five days until you're able to make these and clean your cotton so as soon as you watch this video make sure you make that timber pile it's very important to have dry boards make a few if you have the time uh, they're very useful so I'm going to get seven of these I'm probably not going to be able to carry all seven so I'll probably get half for now there we go I'll get three all right Let's make sure. Yep, they're all dry. So as you can see, I have three dry boards in my inventory. They're pretty much the same as the fresh boards in design, just a little bit uh, lighter if you need to be able to differentiate between the two. So I will start building that. I'm going to get the other four now. So what this cotton cleaner does is pretty self-explanatory. Once you pick the cotton from your fields, you are going to use this as if you're using a whittling bench and you're going to craft uh, raw cotton out of the you're, yeah you're gonna uh, craft cotton balls I'm sorry out of the raw cotton that you pick um, and that will allow you to use those cotton balls that you've cleaned and use them on the loom to make a cotton cloth okay so now we're going to need uh, four wooden plugs uh, wooden plugs require one wood block per two uh, plugs, so we're going to chop this 
this uh, log over here. I'm going to need a few, so I'm going to probably going to get five or six of these things because uh, I will also need the uh, the stick as well. So actually, no, I'll get like six or seven. I'm also going to need the pole. I mean, oh, I ran out. Let's see if there's any more around. Oh, here we go. I always love finding these uh, timber piles over here. The 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 wood piles. I'm sorry. Those are great because they're so fast. Whenever you find those, you should collect them just because I believe they spawn. Uh, if you haven't loaded the tile for a while, they spawn back over uh, depending on how many times you've loaded. So make sure you get those so that way you can get some new ones in again. Very easy to collect. All right, so I need my wooden handle and I need four wooden plugs. So we'll go make those now. Let's make the harder one first, the wooden handle, which should be in the tools. Wooden handle, there we go. I'm gonna make a sharpened stick. I will also need to make the wooden plugs in a moment. So I'll go to that while I make the wooden handle. So here we have two wooden plugs I have to make. Now it is a little bit of an investment. Uh, time-wise and you also will need nails for the next uh, build um, but other than that not too much of an investment uh, nails cost I think 35 at the NPC shop but you should be able to find players selling them for maybe 12 to 20 silver each so a little bit cheaper alright so I have my nails in my inventory but you're also going to need um, some kind of uh, some kind of fibers you're going to need 20 of any kind of fiber for the next build and you also need four nails so make sure you keep up the nails uh, make sure you have them you're going to need exactly four everything else I believe was just dry boards so now we're going to make the loom right next to that uh, cotton cleaner I always keep them right next to each other it's just easier so you don't have to walk too much uh, cotton gets pretty heavy so you don't want to have to walk too much with all of it Alright, so I've placed my loom. I'm going to get all of my fiber in. And I just want to give you guys a heads up. If you put something in a sign, a build sign, and you don't build it in like I am right now, you may come back to despawned items. So anything that you leave without building it in like this can despawn. So you want to make sure you always build in, even if you don't have all the materials at the moment. Uh, it's not a fun thing when you've put something like glass or nails or anything in, and then they go away after you come back so make sure you keep up with that so I can carry about seven at a time I think I need 20 or something like that oh sorry I need I only need 10 that's fine so we get three more and then we are ready to start cleaning our cotton now I tried making uh, clothing uh, uh, got a ghost in the Ghost in the Green. Let's see if that's actually good. I haven't really used these before. Oh, that's actually not bad. We'll go collect one more dry board so we don't use that. Now, I do want to mention, let's say you have a something like this, this Ghost in the Green. If you were to shift scroll, see, there you go. You uh, may use uh, an item that is a rarer, uh, somewhat rare item by accident. So you want to make sure that if you have a rare item in your inventory that counts as a nether, so this ghost in the green counts as a regular dry board when used in building recipes you might not want to shift scroll because you might use it by accident so I'm going to manually place these in so yeah just be careful with that and I will actually go put these away before I do anything else so now we're actually ready to clean our cotton and I was as I was saying before I tried to make um, clothing uh, it's just my like I try to make two clothing items for the weaving that we're about to be doing because you can actually use uh, artifacts like we slotted before I'll show you in a, in a second if you forgot so as you can see I have bone beadwork in here which gives to mining and I have plus 60 mining not amazing but it's a little bit the productivity I believe I mentioned in the other video as well what productivity does is it's uh, a bonus to all your civilian uh, traits pretty much so anything that you're doing around your base from mining to weaving feasting etc etc uh, this will all be contributed to that um, so I tried to make some extra clothing items with just weaving and a little bit of productivity and as you can see I got very unlucky both the slots broke unlike these where most of them went through 
perfectly. So we don't actually have a weaving set on us. And if you must know, the item I tried to use to slot into our clothing was called the abandoned cobweb. And you must have seen these all over as you guys have been exploring. Very easy item to find. So if you guys want to make a weaving set, um, be, be, uh, be my guest. Make yourself a weaving set. They're very good to have. Uh, they basically just reduce the amount of cotton that you need to use to make one cotton cloth. So yeah, if you have a bunch of uh, cobwebs laying around and extra uh, clothing materials, go for it. Make yourself a mini weaving set to start off. You'll probably save a bit of uh, cotton as you do that. It might not be a lot over, but uh, in the beginning, but over time it'll be a big difference. So anyway, I'm going to start harvesting these fields. I have a uh, hot key, so whenever I right-click the... Uh, the uh, cotton farm it'll automatically harvest for me uh, just something I've added to the client um, but yeah so we're going to right click and harvest if you didn't notice and as you can see I'm getting these raw cottons now I also want to say I am in the uh, winter season at we as we speak I'm not currently in the spring season uh, this is called the uh, why am I forgetting the name? Oh yeah, uh, the Everbloom season is the spring, and uh, cold snap. Yeah, we're in a cold snap right now. Yeah, I don't know why the name didn't come to me so fast, but yeah, we are currently in a cold snap, which is pretty much the winter season. And in the winter season, you don't get as much crop as you usually would. Uh oh, yeah, in the winter season, you only get, I believe, uh, just the default amount plus whatever your plenty is. Versus while in the spring, instead of just getting the default, you would get an extra 10, 20% or something like that. I'm not sure the exact number, but if you can harvest in spring or if you have the time to harvest more than once, then go for it, do it in the winter also. But if you don't have a lot of time to play and you don't want to do your farming in the winter, that's fine you, because you will actually get more of a uh, crop harvest in the spring. But I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. I don't really care. I just want to get my cotton and show you guys how to clean it and how to make your cloth. So what I'm going to do is now I have all this cotton in my inventory. I'm going to go to my crafting menu, processing and materials, tailoring materials, and clean cotton. And as you will see, it'll make from one raw cotton ball, it'll make a clean cotton ball and some seeds. It says two, but it's pretty much a random amount. Uh, variable doesn't really have a specific number. So as you can see, I got two, I got 22, 32, I'm getting tens at the moment. Um, sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. So it's going to be a while, this is a little bit slow. Um, but after we do this, what we will do is we will actually go to this loom right here and we will do a similar process. We're going to, I'm not sure if I actually even have it, let's see here. Oh, I don't even have it yet. Um, I may need to get another skill. Let's see here. <laughs> I could need another skill. Well, I will pause the video for a moment while I come back. Oh, you know what? I just I just saw it weaving. There we go. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Okay. So let's see if I have the required skills or the required uh, inspirationals for that. Let's see what we do have. We need thread and needle which I just used probably, I just used those uh, inspirationals I mentioned. So after I craft all these uh, clean cotton, I will go get some uh, thread and needle and arts and crafts inspirationals. And I do apologize, it did not, I did not realize I needed an extra skill for that. Totally forgot about it. So my bad. Alright, almost done. Only a few more. And then I will run and go get those thread needle. I hopefully have some in my box somewhere. If not, it's no big deal at all. We can find something to use, I suppose. Oh, there we go. There's one. Alright, so it looks like uh, spinning tops will cut it. Let's see if this ghost in the green helps at all. No, we just need like 10 more thread needle. Do we have anything else? Do I really have to go make another? Really? Oh, here we go. Hmm. I know that gives it. Okay. There we go. So now we have weaving. So if you didn't see what I used, I used a spinning top and a uh, walking the beetle. Very easy to make. 
Um, so yeah. So now what we want to do is go back to tailoring materials, and you will see clean cotton or cotton cloth. I'm sorry. And as you can see, it says 10 on here, but depending on your productivity and uh, let me open my equipment. Depending on your productivity plus your weaving level, you will have a chance to lower the number on here. So for example, with a high level, let's say, I don't know, 300 weaving, you might even get 5 to 6 cotton cloth, uh, balls per cloth versus 10. You know, it can really uh, it can really help you out the lower number you have because the more uh, balls, uh, the less balls it takes to use uh, to make one cloth, the more money you'll be making from the same amount of uh, crop. So you really want to go for a high weaving set if you're a cotton farmer. It'll really help you out. I myself have a really nice weaving set I use on my main account to get some cotton, uh, some cotton fields going and make some money. So uh, let's see if we get any bonus. I doubt we will. It's looking like we're probably going to get oh, maybe like six, five or six cloth. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I doubt it. I'm gonna put my mouse here. See if we get any extra. Uh, it looks like we used. I'm not even sure how many we used. Actually, I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Looks like we're using a. Looks like we're using a pretty low amount. Actually, it didn't look like we used a lot. Maybe we'll get a. We'll get lucky and get a few. Uh, few more. Oh, I got low on phlegm. But yeah, it looks like looks like we did get some bonuses. Hopefully. It looks like we have extra. Which is really good news. We only have six fields. Six is not a lot. We can definitely make more in the future. But for now, this is actually a pretty uh, pretty good start. Pretty good. Alright. I was missing one cotton ball, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, exactly one. I could have made an extra. So we actually ended up with eight cloth. Not bad at all. Uh, and as I told you before, cloth is actually worth 15 silver. So altogether, that's about 120 silver worth of, uh, of cloth right there that we just made from that one harvest. And if you remember, I think I told you it took four days to do that. But if you have dross, which we will get later on from mining, you can actually uh, take that time down by like half. And you only have to wait two days uh, to do that. So if you only have six fields, 120 uh, silver every two days, you know, that's a lot of money coming in. So anyway, we're going to go to Providence really quick and sell this. Let's get rid of some stuff in our inventory really quick. And after I do that, I'll probably end the video. So let's get this going and get some money in our pocket. I'll pay a little bit of my claim. As you can see, it's currently unpaid. I haven't been on in a, in a while. I've been so busy. But I do want to, like I said, I did want to come make this video, so looking out for you guys. Now, what am I, let's put this, some stuff away. Almost out of, uh, what can I else can I drop? Do I have any crap in my inventory I can drop? Eh, uh, whatever, I guess. <laughs> oh, you know what, I can, I can put away some of these cotton balls. There we go, perfect. Alright, so now I'm going to port to Providence, and I will sell these, uh, these cotton cloth. Let's see exactly. We do have eight, right? Yep, we have eight. So, 120 silver in our pocket. Not a bad, not a bad yield. Um, definitely looks like we got some bonus. I don't know really how. I mean, we only have a 20 bonus, which is relatively low because a considerably good set would be in the four to six hundreds. So I'm unsure how that bonus occurred but we definitely did get lucky I believe so don't expect to get lucky like that too often but hey I'm not complaining about it that's for sure I'm going to part back now but I want to say thanks guys for watching the video I'm sorry I've been so busy but I'm gonna to try to keep putting some videos out this has been a quick tutorial because I'm just trying to make some money really quick without giving any money to myself from my main account or anything. I just want to do this all legit. So it's going to take me a little bit. Got to get some things set up. Like I said, I got to have that cotton farming come in, get a little bit of money some other places. But once we get enough money to buy a sword, we will most likely be uh, beaver hunting to make money. Beaver hunting is a great way to, to make money. Uh, and then with that money, we'll probably buy a pickaxe and start mining. So that's probably the direction we'll be going with the episodes. But for now, this is a great way to make some money, so if you guys like the video, let me know in the comments how you're uh, making some money, if you found any other ways. 
Uh, of course, I know a bunch of other ways, but I just want to hear how you guys are doing it, what you guys are doing to manage, and how, how you guys like my methods so far. Alright? Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.